Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Psalm 84. Let's rush. Let's just look at a few things. Psalms 84, verse 2. The psalmist said something really beautiful. Verse 2, my soul longed, yeah, even fainted for the courts of the Lord. This was the psalmist communicating his passion for God beyond royalty, beyond him being the king of Israel. He said, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Is that your experience? That you say, Lord, I know that I'm sick. I know that I've been diagnosed of this and that. I know that there are demonic entities oppressing my life and my family. But tonight, my, my focus is not just the miracle, but you. My focus tonight is not just my business. My focus tonight is not just to tie my husband and bring him from wherever he is. No. My focus tonight is you. Not peace not joy not miracles not anointing not breakthrough i want your presence i want your glory i want the fullness of you this is the secret this is the part the devil does not like in a believer's journey where you begin to honor god above and beyond what he can give you because every time you love god beyond things you cripple the power of satan hallelujah Verse 10, same scripture. It says, for a day in your court is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Can you imagine? He's saying, I love God and the things of God so much so that even if I become a sanctuary keeper in the house of God, I prefer it to enjoying any other benefit. Do you have that degree of passion for God? There are some of us who just came here because we came to escort families that are desperate. You came to stay with them and they just have to drive you to follow them because they are locking their house. And now you are here. You must get to that point. Our primary goal as a ministry is to ignite the fire of the spirit in the hearts of men. It is important, it matters that your love for God. See, this is why the Christian experience of many believers, especially in this country, cannot last. You hear that a man is passionate about God. A pastor is passionate about God. After a while, either as a result of extreme success or extreme failure, it still creates the same effect. They leave can you make up your mind tonight that Lord beyond these blessings because there are people who are already angry with God have you had people telling God if you don't do anything this night I know you are not God I will backslide who goes to hell Jesus hallelujah you must love him with all your heart 
let me show you something just one more scripture john 6 verse 23 john 6 verse 23 very interesting scripture john 6 jesus had multiplied bread remember the story five loaves two fish they all ate and they were happy look up in this nigeria the way many people are suffering if you get somebody who can speak over bread and it multiplies will you leave him will you leave him so the bible tells us that jesus just performed an excellent miracle and the next day they came there they didn't come because they loved him they didn't come because they were convicted by the miracles he did they came because they were hungry and they now found a bread provider hear what jesus says to them verse 23 nevertheless there came other boats from tiberias near unto the place where they did eat bread after that the lord had given thanks 24 when the people therefore saw that jesus was not there neither his disciples they also took boats and they came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. They were seeking for Jesus, but it was not from a heart of passion. They were seeking for Jesus because of the bread. 25. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou here? 26. Now this is Jesus rebuking them. And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because he saw the miracles but because he did eat loaves and were filled there are so many people who seek god just because of what they want and there is nothing wrong with desiring god to meet our needs this is why we put a special program every month hallelujah out of the four weeks we have to fellowship we dedicate one to minister to god's people so it is God's desire to bless us. But hear me, saints of God, if the whole circumference of your pursuit for God is tied to what you will get from God, you may not last. That's why there are so many people disappointed and offended with God. Lord, I gave my tithe. I gave this and that. Lord, I did this. I thought the husband should have come. I saw in a vision that I married by July. This is February. Oh, this this word now. January hallelujah is that your story tonight or will you say lord as far as my pursuit for you is concerned there is no there is no option are you getting my point lord if if you don't answer me i become a love slave i'm bounded to you willingly it becomes impossible just like the salt covenant of the old testament how can you separate one salt from another i am i am bound to you leaving you is not an option but sliding is not an option failing in my prayer life is not an option i desire you and i desire your house this is the secret of the presence of god hallelujah say after me i desire the lord above every miracle above prosperity above marriage you must desire the lord let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters this is the difference between the presence of god and a herbal home are you getting me a herbalist doesn't ask you to have passion for satan he just tells you you initiate yourself by some activities but God willingly calls you. Come higher. Come deeper. You must love God. The three Hebrew boys in Daniel chapter 3. Let's not turn there from verse 16. They said, let it be known to you, O king, that our God will deliver us. He said, but even if he does not deliver us, bowing to this dagon, bowing to this statue of gold, is not an option throw us into the fire our allegiance our fraternity with God is unquestionable there are many of us God cannot trust us with certain levels of grace because we are vulnerable are you getting what I'm saying there are many ministers looking for power there are many people looking for anointing there are many people that see this kind of crowds and get angry they said these people must be doing something how can this kind of thing happen because they do not know that until god has your heart you will never see his hand in your life it takes god a 
experience in your heart. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. is January that in this 2014 beyond the miracle service have an identity of consistency in the spirit are you getting what I'm saying not that you start today and then by March or April people are wondering are you born again hallelujah there are so many people like that the only place you see them that confirms to you that they are born again is the house of God and that's because they want to get something or maybe they are workers in church i told god my allegiance for you my commitment for you even if you take away every anointing you have given me leaving you is not an option to leave you means to die the psalmist said as the deer pants as the deer pants after the water broke he says so my soul I know people who used to love God, Bishop, years ago. They are not even, they don't even love God. Talk more of ministry. Because their pursuit was not sincere. They were just looking for God. They had suffered inferiority complex. And they thought it was ministry or anointing that would heal them of it. And they, they came as though they were seeking God. And today is Ichabod. The glory has departed. I thought you can get our teaching the secret of sustained glory. There is a principle that keeps the fire of God upon a man's life that with changing seasons will remain unchanging. Hallelujah. So tonight God is examining our hearts. We will get the miracles. We have labored in prayer in the word and God has given us the assurance of his presence. Hallelujah. But I need you to know that beyond the miracles, hear me everyone, inside or outside God is calling you there is an experience that is bigger than receiving things from God. There is an experience that is bigger than job, bigger than money, bigger than wife, bigger than business, bigger than ministry, bigger than power, bigger than healing, bigger than deliverance. It says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. In John 21 from verse 15 you can just write it you don't need to turn there remember the disciples were walking with Jesus Christ I've told you in our previous teachings that the disciples were not following Jesus because they loved him they were following him because they wanted to shine is that true because they were the disciples of John the Baptist before Jesus came is that true when he came and he was the new superstar what happened there was a migration is that true and they all came there and they were happy eventually the motif of their heart began to be tested and they came and they said jesus we have left everything to follow you what is our court in this deal hallelujah can you help me to handkerchief please praise the lord Thank you. praise god and then the bible tells us listen please the bible says that when they caught Jesus remember when the people came to carry Jesus Christ they thought he was going to wave his hands bind them and do a lot of things and when he offered himself what happened to them they ran away everybody Peter tried he got to a point he said I've tried it was only John that was there at the cross so when he resurrected Peter went back to his fishing the disciples said we go with you and in, in 21 verse 15 he looked at Peter, Jesus now, and he said, Simon Peter, lovest thou me more than this? What are the these? Matthew 33. Hallelujah. Jesus began to speak. 
and he said a lot about uh, sorry matthew 6 sorry don't you don't have to turn there we're out of time we have to rush matthew 6 from verse 33 offers verse 32 really he said for the gentiles seek after these things what are the things you go to the previous verse 31 talks about food to eat clothes to wear god knows you need these things but he's asking you lovest thou me more than this there are certain people if god puts a husband and he puts himself before he finishes going to his place you will run and carry the husband and say thank you jesus i really appreciate you you are a very nice man i like this kind of god or if god puts money the worst one is money there are many of us as god is putting you can say let me just die there take my life but let me fall down this morning hallelujah god will keep screening your heart until he finds out he's the king of kings in your heart see this is why some people get things cheaply in life God knows that whether they get it or not, it no longer has influence on their, on, his, on their relationship with him. So he can freely give to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say, I love the Lord with all my heart. If you are not yet convinced, don't worry, you don't have to say it. But before the end of the service, make sure you are convinced that you need God beyond what he can give, he, he can give you. Hallelujah. Your passion for God must exceed the miracle you want to get. Number two, this may come as a shocker for many of us. The second point, the Holy Spirit laid in my heart. And I think this is probably why, please listen, many believers in the body of Christ do not get to experience the reality of the blessings of the Lord. God told me something that shocked me. God's love for you is unconditional. But his promises are conditional. God's love for you is unconditional. But his promises are conditional. You always have a role to play to access the blessings that are promised in scripture. Listen, many of us get carried away by the fact that God loves me. If he wants to bless me, he will bless me anyway. If he wants to heal me, he will heal me anyway. If he wants to deliver me, he will deliver me anyway. That's a misguided teaching about love. God's love is unconditional. But as far as accessing his promises and accessing our inheritance in Christ are concerned, we have a role to play. Are you, are you understanding me now? Romans 5 verse 8 talks about the fact that while we were yet sinners we have to rush really help us holy spirit romans 5 verse 8 says while we were yet sinners christ died for us unconditional we didn't do anything hallelujah he just went to the cross died and shed his blood for our sins but look at deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 deuteronomy 28 Deuteronomy 28 Thank you Jesus It shall come to pass If thou shalt hearken diligently Not if thou shalt wish in your room If thou shalt do what? Hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord To observe and to do That means there is something you must do Are you getting me? So Jesus paid the price but to walk in the reality there is a role i i don't know how i can sound this to the body of christ that it is not all up to god and it is not all up to you this is what koinonia is about partnership there is a role you must play if we keep deceiving ourselves that he has done everything oh hallelujah he has done it is working it's not working there are principles the bible says it shall come to pass if you will hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command thee then this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you hallelujah 
Deuteronomy 6 verse 1 again we apologize for those outside please just listen Deuteronomy 6 very powerful scripture many of us love this scripture because of what it says hallelujah verse 10 it says and it shall be when the lord thy god shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto your father abraham to isaac and to jacob to give thee great and godly cities which thou buildest not say amen and houses full of good things which thou fieldest not and wells dig which thou diggest not vineyard and olive trees which thou plantest not when thou art eaten and you are full all right these are the blessings we like claiming it oh i'll get a house i didn't pay for i'll get this and that which is true is true but the bible always put conditions when you read from verse 13 to 15 we really don't have time for that it says that thou shalt fear the lord you will serve him there are things you will do and you shall swear by his name and then verse 14 says you shall not go after other gods the gods of the people which are around you last verse 15 it says for the lord thy god is a jealous god lest the anger of the lord be kindled against you and it destroys you from the face of the earth there are conditions are you getting what i'm saying these conditions are encapsulated in what jesus christ called the keys of the kingdom the keys the bible says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries an opening of the operation of the kingdom hallelujah even favor this favor we talk about how many of you know like nigerians like favor which is good honestly favor is great if the favor of god is not working in your life something is wrong but do you know that it is the outworkings of favor that has nothing to do with you it takes an operation to initialize its working in your life for instance the gift of a man makes room the making room and bringing him that's where favor is but that gift must be in place are you getting the point now there's no man in scripture except a few people and that was because of certain covenants people like Mephibosheth but the Bible talks about Daniel it was an excellent spirit that brought him out Joseph it was his ability to interpret dreams so favor doesn't just drop around like that there are things that initiate it unfortunately in the body of Christ we like receiving things without finding out the condition and our justification is God loves us Are you getting blessed god hammered this in my spirit so while you are seated tonight there are many of us what you need tonight is not prayers really what you need tonight is an understanding about how to get the thing that you really want uh, the principle that governs its operation hallelujah are you following me so the love of god is conditional yes ago i had oyedeko hammering on this thing this is what he calls the covenant you know i've been a controversial person concerning this covenant thing there are many teachings about covenant i don't believe We'll explain that I've, I've, I've done a, a few teachings I understand when you teach about covenant meaning that you have a role to play and God has a role to play that's a balanced view of covenant but when you teach covenant in a way that removes the mercy of God is no longer an understanding because God is working with man Psalms 8 says he knows that we are dust are you getting me there is a misguided teaching on covenant that makes people to blame God and insult God and makes it look like if you don't do it you are not God hallelujah there's no time I would have shown you from scripture remember Jesus gave a parable 
of somebody that went that the vine dresser was calling to go to the vineyard early in the morning and they agreed they had a covenant for a denary they went to the farm and they were walking they didn't go because they loved the man they went because they had an agreement correct at the at noon time he saw some other people sitting idle he said why are you sitting idle he says no man employs us he said go and walk no negotiation they went because they loved him up to the 11th hour is that true they still found others and they went no negotiation are you getting my point when it was time for him to pay them he started with those who went those who had started in the morning he gave them a denary and then he turned to others that didn't give him condition he said now since you have allowed me to choose my blessing i give you the same wage and it annoyed those other people so there is a dimension of your work with god that is beyond covenant is if i perish i perish i love you beyond this thing are you getting my point that teaching of saying if i give god a he must give me b is not accurate whether god gives you b or not are you getting my point if you can put that to your concept of covenant it becomes balanced otherwise we are going to have a bunch of hypocrites in the body of christ claiming they love god god i gave you five naira you promised me ten naira i'm still waiting if it does not come you are not god i will announce to the whole world that you are not faithful have you had people say that i will drop my mic and stop preaching ah that's not accurate i love him i know that he is faithful to do this but even if he does not do it my commitment bible faith that works right and there is another concept that was a product of hunger and dimness of light and this is what many people advocate and they call faith hallelujah there are so many people who are not practicing what the bible calls faith and we'll look at it very in fact this one i just had these two to share but in the afternoon the lord just pressed this thing in my heart i want to define faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction about god his love for you his integrity and his ability i'll come again faith is the name given to the action the action you take based on your conviction please if you have not been listening now is the time to wake up don't let the devil cheat you this is this is the bottom part of this teaching before we start ministry praise god the action you take based on your conviction about god his love for you his integrity and his ability faith is the name given to you the action the action that is taken your action not your intention or wishful thinking is called faith many people call wishful thinking faith many people call hallucination and imagination faith this is metaphysics are you getting my point now there are people who have all kinds of jargons on the walls and the room of their houses and they are not satisfying the scriptural conditions to be, become these things and we read a lot of books that say sit down wake up in the night just look at it let it enter your subconscious be careful there is a balanced view about the power of imagination and there is an erroneous occultic new age metaphysics understanding that is leading people into derision are you getting my point now faith is action everybody say it listen if you have not yet taken action you have not manifested faith i don't care what else you have done listen please if you get this revelation many of you as this word is coming you will walk out of your sick body at once because of the power of this revelation i will show you from scripture help us holy spirit which word is correct now wow i have to rush there is no faith without action impossible there is no faith without action hallelujah 
I always give an example. Um, let me use somebody. Mike, come. I'm going to call this gentleman. Please, everybody concentrate. When I call you, say you are coming, but don't come. Mike, come. What did I ask him to do? He's saying he's coming. Did he come? Mike, come and take. If you can live where you are and come here, by reason of your trust, take. This is what a lot of believers are doing. We start dreaming nonsense, thinking we are manifesting faith. There are conditions. God is saying, fulfill that condition and take. We are busy standing and saying, oh, I know. I just know. I know it will happen. No. It doesn't happen that way. Bless you, sir. Everybody say, faith is the action taken based on my conviction of God's word, his love for me, his integrity, and his ability. That action is what the Bible calls faith. Are you getting something tonight? This is an eye-opener for many people because you will see that what a lot of us are calling believe, believe, believe is not true. We are not manifesting faith. Faith, the faith life does not make you an idiot. We have turned this faith thing to become as if we are foolish people. Read your Bible. Those who walk in authentic realms of faith did not behave the way we are behaving. Hallelujah. Let me show you a few scriptures. Matthew chapter 9, if you can help us very quickly, media. Matthew chapter 9, from verse 18 to 22. Remember the woman with the issue of blood. Just write it and look up. Matthew 9, from verse 18. Hallelujah. Uh, let's just go to 19. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. Verse 20. And behold, a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood. How many years? Twelve years. Came behind him and did what? She did what? She came and took action. Is that true? She did something based on a conviction that she had. What was the conviction? 21. For she said within herself. That's where many of us stop. Is that not true? Oh, I know if Jesus passes here, if I may but touch his garment. While she said that she was waiting, when she saw Jesus, she said, crowd protocol fire this night. The Bible says as she touched it, do you know if she did not touch him? That's how she would have remained like that. Is that true? And that will make Jesus look as though he was not powerful. See, in action is the missing component in our faith equation we do every other thing but take steps as simple as what i'm telling you is is the reason why many people will never be delivered many people will never be healed many people may never experience the blessings of god another story john 5 from verse 5 to 9 remember the important man very interesting story john 5 jesus always demanded action john 5 and a certain man was there which had infirmity how many years 30 and 8 years is that true look at me he never got healed because he did not take action is that true verse 6 we have to run and jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 the important man started giving all kinds of explanations verse 8 like many of us are giving and jesus said unto him look at me how can jesus tell a man who has been lying down for 38 years who cannot move he said rise take in other words prove your conviction by doing something you have never done 38 years jesus is not an idiot he sees a man lying down just to move to a pool close to him he could not move for 38 years now jesus says you claim you trust me if you believe i'm the messiah stop giving me that grammar rise up 
in the moment you take the action the power of god comes in it does not take a long time this is faith the action you take based on your conviction let's look at a few more mark 2 mark 2 mark 2 verse 1 to 12 but let's just look at verse 4 mark 2 verse 4 we have to hurry up this is already the miracle mark 2 verse 4 listen when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof look at me jesus was holding a crusade is that true is that true those sitting outside say amen so the bible says there were people packed full inside and outside like this is that true and jesus was teaching and certain people were desperate and they said today you have been a liability to us you must stand up we are not ready to take you back home and the bible says when they came they saw the crowd the people said the owner of this house will negotiate after the miracle but for now they got do you know what it means jewish do you know how jewish houses were made they were made with mud you would have to break through look at what the bible says they uncovered the roof that was and when they had what they broke it jesus was just sitting down and he had some people hitting i'm sure others were saying don't disturb us say keep talking i will keep manifesting faith when i get what i want i can tell you sorry the, listen 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 the bible says wherein the sick of palsy lay I want to show you something that will shock you now next verse please ay, 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 ay. when jesus saw what what was their faith their action their action that that step they took based on their conviction the bible says faith can be seen it's not some metaphysical thing i can know whether you have faith by the degree of your adherence to the principles i can see it and know whether your faith is working you you can't fool us and say i have faith if you have faith see james said show me show me your your works without faith and i will show you my faith through the action that i'm taking what does that mean that you came here with cancer do you believe the lord will heal you yes i believe that's why i came that's good step one when the word of god comes that's the time to shake off cancer from your body and say cancer you had the prophetic word shake it off don't just sit down you're wondering no two more scriptures quickly luke 17 this is an interesting one the story of the ten lepers verse 11 let me show you the dynamics the spiritual technology that is responsible for the miraculous i pray that your eyes will be open to see verse 13 please let's hurry up listen the bible says there were 10 lepers who have been discussing is this how we will continue abby people will come and drop offering or whatever for them and the bible says they had that means they had been they had received an assurance that jesus was able to do it is that true now watch what happened this was their first manifestation of faith when jesus was passing what happened they lifted up are you getting me now and they did what the bible did not say they lifted it and just they just whispered to lift up means they shouted and they said jesus master you know jesus doesn't walk alone i'm sure his peers were saying hurry up they said we may be crippled but our mouth is not crippled we are going to shout till we get your attention listen did jesus respond that's how he will always respond when we manifest faith next verse and when he saw them he said unto them listen hi i love jesus goodness he just said the only reason why you are calling me is because you think i can help you if you really believe stand up go and show yourself as simple as that no grammar of saying okay if i said this then the should grammar that 
thing we do is not called faith. If you take action, God is committed. Listen, the Bible says, and it came to pass. Watch this. As they, this is the dynamics. Listen, I want to explain something powerful here. As they, they were, that means their being cleansed was tied to their going. As they, they were, this sign shall not go before. If you prove God sent you, start moving. And he said, the signs, the signs, will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came Look at me. There are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church. Do you know that there are people that when they come, when hands are about to be laid on them, they say, don't lay hands on me, just speak. You are a sick patient. The doctor said, turn for injection. You say, I don't like injection. Walk out of the hospital. As simple as that. When there's a way the sickness will press you, that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow, you say, just give me. When you still have options you are not yet pushed to the wall look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the wall that you must react are you getting my point but seven are we there john what did i say john 9 not 19 9 listen look up please let me just tell the story quickly Remember the man who was born blind. The Bible says Jesus spat on the floor. Correct? And he started making clay. I can imagine. The, well, the man could not see. Now, watch this. Hiya, I love Jesus. Jesus inspires me. I'm telling you. He said unto him. To who? The blind man. Jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand. He spoke to the blind man. He said, oh God, go. Wash in the pool of Siloam which by interpretation is sent and the bible says he went his way therefore and washed and returned see how will jesus speak to a blind man oh yeah i've done my own part if you like sit down here for one week if you are interested go and wash remember what the prophet told naaman he said go to jordan and bath while he was giving all those confessions i will not go i will go i will not go he said continue if you want to manifest faith carry two of your legs march to jordan he was saying are there no other river this is many people think it just stops at talking 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 naman was talking rapping standing in front of elijah's he didn't even come out he said tell him go and wash and do it seven times he went there was a very muddy water hallelujah bathed the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back and the holy ghost would say two more times for my spirit to come in listen the bible says the moment he entered the seventh time he just came out and he saw his skin that means the holy ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the bible says he begged for arms is that true peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer and the bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe 
are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr man i don't have money to give you but there is something i have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the holy ghost was moving peter get this man to take a step in every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time i would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of god was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen i submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point i said by with all humility i hope it doesn't look like i'm bragging i'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marrying you how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find her paper but God said, am I too small? And you just dropped the paper on the table. Did you not hear the testimony? Listen, when you play your part, I'm telling you, in an inexplainable way, God is committed. And tonight, I want you to know that your part is to have come. See, I tell people with all humility, that for coming to this ground alone is already 50 percent of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking 
the Holy Ghost will say mark them mark them practitioners of the word they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you say I'm not going back you can go but this night although I'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute God is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. Stories tonight. I have come tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been the head of department prayer band. He even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost is in a place, nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure tonight, as you hear the word, listen, I don't know the issue that you came here with. I can only communicate the few because of time constraint and because we see in part i must not mention your case are you getting what i'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god has showed me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please when we begin to pray i don't know if we we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do make sure remember the teaching you must take action you must take action that action look at what our mommy shared remember the, the the testimony our mommy shared do you know that we brought i sent that they should bring a seat for her what she refused as a proof to the devil are you getting my point that that i may be old but i'm well Are you ready to drop those chains now? There is no need. Please hear me. There is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation. For there is a name. There are families represented here tonight. Tonight you will pass the Red Sea and you will part with Egypt forever.
mighty angels. There is power in the name of Jesus. Please be sensitive. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Higher. It's time for people's lives to change. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. There are families under bondages, yokes. There are many of us who have come under spells. It's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people because the Bible says, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. I tell you, if you see what the Lord is showing me in the spirit, goodness, the devil is in trouble this night. Lift your hands, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father. Please lift your hands inside and outside. hallelujah hear me wherever you are the power of god is going to begin to move across the crowd and everywhere you are there is a name tonight that is above every demon every yoke every spell and at the mention of that name devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of god is moving are you ready now one two three i call spirits i call devils devils come out come out come out come out come out now come out go cross the pressure outside outside the fire of the Holy Ghost bring them out bring them out the fire is falling outside lift up your hands oh ye dead I command spirits devils let those people go now bring them out bring them out Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God. Every yoke, every cross, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness. Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time, please. 
The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside. Falling outside. Every spell. Hallelujah. Just those outside, lift your hands. The first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a rain of deliverance. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Ha praise kabala da da da. Out. Ha reta katale da ba. Hallelujah. Now listen, please, please. Let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Ha praise de gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second. In Terekaba, let her go now by the fire of the holy ghost i challenge you right now in the name of jesus break every chain out of her now now Come out of her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Now. Break every chain. Break every Listen, listen, many of you don't know why, listen, hear me, please listen, let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength, three people holding her? Wickedness is real. 
leave her alone on your knees and out of her quickly just leave her on your knees and out of her in the name of the lord jesus watch the power of faith all of you watch just no don't worry don't concentrate on her when she does it leave her alone listen listen you see why it's good to be spiritual because now one brother will just get up and come you don't know where you are i'm not talking about her now please nobody should stigmatize her are you getting my point one brother just comes and bounces you don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life you come and enter into something that will weep out look at she cannot even go out look at she's standing at the door she can't even cross the door she will go on her knees don't worry you will see the authentic power of the holy ghost listen brothers and sisters hear me behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness are you getting what i'm saying many of our families some of you as you are standing here don't think god is visiting you alone you should understand us here your salvation is not complete until your household is touched these are the spirit that's why you try and try you keep doing this is what has stopped the admission of others this is what has stopped the marriage of others this is what has killed the destiny of many people but tonight you will part ways with it forever now i want to pray i see a lot of many of you will be surprised what will happen now hallelujah there are so many people that are tormented in their dreams listen to me you can't have a sound sleep but you see people come animals chasing you all kinds of devilish demonic things snakes some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people whether a man whether a woman when you are about to go for a job interview these things happen to you and that's the end of it it doesn't matter what happens tonight there will be a separation once and for all lift up your hands again please lift up your hands let's hurry up whether they are causes whether they are yokes whether they are manifestations of spirit husband spirit wife wherever that devil is as you shout jesus i see fire fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral forces go 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 serpents scorpions marine spirits out 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 by the fire of the holy ghost
Fire is burning in this place. And this is Aroteke Theater. For all these people outside, I'm speaking to the spirits now. At the count of three, the fire of God burns you out of these people. Every spirit, hear my voice. I speak from the realm of the spirit right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three, You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling. Falling, yeah. I give the chains. I give the chains. Oh, she back it, take it I give the chains. Zeko Pedi Yashakata. I give the chains. Now, listen. Listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming, don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly. Please, let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of black substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be healing. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there's someone, there's someone here. You feel movement around your right leg. You literally feel like an object, like a snake, moving around, especially when you're on your bed. Who is that person? The Lord is revealing to me. Please, quickly, let's save time. Once I mention your case, just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside, let's just hurry up very quickly. We don't have time. Goodness, help us, Lord. The devil is in trouble tonight. <laughs> hallelujah thank you sir you are the person okay hold on you've been having this pain please tell us how has it been yeah it started from here listen listen please for about three years now about three years what do you feel sir feel pain here they scanned so nothing they scanned there was nothing and you feel it moving yes up to now I'm even... up till now even now as you are talking Watch it disappear now. Watch it disappear. You, you are an elderly man. You get my point. So you will not come and be lying when it's not done. But you watch and see what the power of God will do. Because they scanned it medically. Goodness, please let me do something quickly. I see this lady wearing a crown. Let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on her. Anybody, lay your hands Thank you, Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness, let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your leg. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. Alright, lay your hands. Lay your hands, lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you, that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain there? It's going. It's going right. It's going right. Look at him smiling. It's going right. Now check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Yes, so Check it. 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 These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking. 
checking and they tell you we don't know what is wrong save yourself headache just come for prayers quick because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of god say, this is the finger of satan it's exactly three years it's exactly three years thank you jesus say i'm healed in, in jesus name now check yourself check yourself check yourself go ahead hit hit yourself there that's what i want until you don't feel any pain what do you feel everything everything when everything when everything disappears look at god healing regina madam ah now wow look at the spirit of death lingering over you the devil would have taken your life in an accident it would have been an accident a bike accident a car would hit you and kill you that would be the end of it are you married where's your husband we have to pray for him too but well, let me pray for you i cast that spirit of death go no death in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. You, wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because it's a, sometimes you sit. Do you have any feeling? Maybe you are not yourself. You have those. Yes, sir. You have those kind of feelings. Sometimes you feel as if you don't even. It's like you don't know. Yes. This is madness. This thing would have come upon you last year. It was because of the hand of God. And the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you but tonight god will deliver you you believe me we have to pray for you because i'm seeing you tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing tied completely god is touching someone there bring the lady let hope rise i command that madness go right now I see. Look at what is happening to him. Look at, look at this. Look at this. How can somebody just start scratching his head because I said go? This is madness. The devil wanted to put on. Go, 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 go! Out of him right now. Take your devilish madness back to hell. Hallelujah. What's she here for? Your neck. Now all of you lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please. Look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. You must go now. I'm seeing an altar burning. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. This is what is happening to this girl. I'm seeing a shrine. A shrine catching fire. Every shrine. Every devil's shrine. Where your name and that of your family member has been taken to. It catches fire now. It catches fire now. Set, set 
Hallelujah. Goodness. God is going to do a fantastic miracle outside. I'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside. God is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth. Please check it. If you confirm you are the one, don't tell us lies here. Please confirm it and come out. God is, God is filling holes. Holes. Literally, literally to close up. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, God wants to do a number of things. Irregular menstruation. God is going to heal a lot of these things. And then lump. Lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now let it disappear now let it disappear now now, now, long go in the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please. Just line up Usher's protocol. Help us arrange them, please. Please be very orderly. No fighting. Let's hurry up. While that is happening, how many of you have not written your prayer requests? Please write it quickly, quickly. Write it quickly and let's have it. You came specifically, whether within Zaria or outside Zaria, you came specifically for healing. hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we're going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situations you are the joy of the whole world
affects him any okay but but we're going to pray that is a you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God Out! His Out! Name Out! Is Jesus Out! Christ I see him die This is what I see He dies And he rose And he gave me victory I Legs, goodness. 
Since when? Ten years. Ten years. How do are you a witness? Is you that brought? What what how do how does it shift? She will fall and can hold on. Look at me. Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Nikab, I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. No shifting for you again from today. I bring you the authority of the kingdom. And the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out. Now, I command your ligaments. I command everything like Ezekiel 37 to be back. Walk. What do you feel? What do you feel? Look at, come up. Her ligaments for 10 years. She, she falls down by herself. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Look at this. Her kneecap used to shift. Her kneecap used to shift. You are, come, come, come up. Who are you to Who are you to her? A family friend. You are what? Family friend. You know her. You know that this is true. Sister, look, look at the girl crying. Could she do this before? She couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she will fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the, you see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. They what? They initiated him into what? They gave him food. Then you be seeing spiritual something. You you be seeing spiritual something that you, if he tell you, you be surprised. Oh, they initiated him. That devil is a liar. Bring him up. Uh -uh, don't 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 please don't cry. Hmm. She's your daughter. It's okay. See, mommy, look, let me tell you. Including you, God will set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? That are carrying him go. They say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You look at this. Hallelujah. Telling them that this water is blood. If they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be very functional. And mommy, listen. It's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. Keep in the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. He used to steal. What does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend, and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. It was 11 in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that even I myself have seen a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not turn back to look at me. The, the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. Darkness dwell.
I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I do believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? You are here seated. Do you believe that that devil can leave you? There is a spirit that oppresses you. You can't sleep. I went through it as a preacher oppressed by demon spirit people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day I was free I knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can work like an octopus close almost ten doors one spirit ten doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now there are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives they will tell you it's because of this job they leave this job and go to this one they leave this and do this listen when you see different conditions producing the same result there is a spirit behind it whether good or bad you take a man somewhere he excels you take him somewhere he excels there is a spirit sponsoring that result the same way you take a man and give him any opportunity he will blow it there is a spirit this is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job it wouldn't have made any difference it's not about the job you must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family are we together now yeah there are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you you will now come and think okay it's just because this one didn't go to school no 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 there is a spirit you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him 
Mordecai had done that. He had never offended the king as far as the Bible records. Yet they did not bless him. Remembrance does not happen through charm. There is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you. Do you know, brothers and sisters, I have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you. But until the spirit of God moves those people, they will never help you. Don't forget my teaching on the gift of men. Listen to that teaching again. It's a powerful secret. One of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that God gave me. One of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. Overnight, your life can change because the right person steps into your life. Overnight, you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life. There are some of us, what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come. There are too many people in your life, none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hop their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. How God is an awesome. He reigns. He reigns. outside you may be online it doesn't matter if you cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15 
we'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8 listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the vine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me he can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, um, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his namesake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you are not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he said no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere listen do you know 
I love the way God is. He will allow your enemies to finish talking. Then he'll say, let's start proving them wrong. One by one by one by one. That's what God is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your God. In this year of triumph, God will surprise them. Do you know? Listen, there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you, you you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story Look at the lady that God healed of HIV. I know some of you think it's a lie. This is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing? If you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever, how did A and B become C? You are not a Christian because the Bible said, my sheep hear my voice. The voice of another, they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as that breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i had and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir, to produce one song in Lagos is 250,000. He said, okay, how many tracks do you have? 10. And then you are there thinking the man is like you. And he's listening to you. When you finish, he now says, this is a check of 4 million naira. Please, when you do everything, let me know. And then you leave the man. I say, so what is the catch? He said, there is no catch. When it is favor, there is no catch. God will just surprise you and leave you like that. Somebody will just build a house. It's called prepared blessings. See, if you don't believe in what I'm telling you, you can go home, honestly, because this is what we are going to deal with tonight. Triumph. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always, always to triumph. Always to triumph. That you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over, someone walks to you and says, I don't know you, but God sent me into your life. To say from now till September, every month I should be giving you 20,000. You don't believe it can happen? I hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead, your mom is dead. From today, I become a father in this family. Simple. For starters, move out of this place into a two bedroom flat. 
look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david Dam, you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life. Divine acceleration. Triumph. Triumph. Shaka Pataya. Triumph. By the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters. Let me tell you the truth. Get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they will help you when you are in trouble you will be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you can listen brothers let me talk to you do you know right now please come when you see a gentleman like this do you know if this gentleman is successful many elders will ask him what are you doing in other words how come your life is this fast 
society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you are a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up God wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of Jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve God that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in Christ again. They've gotten into all kinds of things. Survival is a cause. You should resolve that issue and spend your life serving God. If you are a brother here, when I say pray, please pray. Pray. The sisters can join, but brothers, you must pray. You shouldn't stand and just be, leave any man of God thing and cry. Listen, there are some of you as you are listening to me right now. There are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then God calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust God for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way, made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked the sea, it was over. You made a way. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God Koinonia, pray, pray. Shabakato sobara baladaba. Zakata baroko to sopregeti. Shegete bereko sopra na baladaba baladaba. Don't know how, but you did it. Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My 
life must make progress outside are you praying my life must make progress my life must make progress Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Listen. Listen. I want us to break out of cycles tonight. Are we together? I'm going to minister to you, but there are people here. You are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command accept yourself accept yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points before i begin to minister to us listen hallelujah jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we're going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying i apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel i apply the blood i apply the blood i apply the blood i apply the blood on my children i apply the blood pray on my husband on my wife on my business on my ministry on my job i apply the blood 
no divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing, everyone. We are going to pray now. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Luke 18, verse 1. Please, quickly. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2. There's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there God is a God of vengeance listen listen I know that's the nasty side of God but the God I serve is not only merciful God is, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a god of vengeance he said let god arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry lord avenge i cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family koinonia pray Arise, righteousness and justice at the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about her man? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance. We live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance hallelujah hallelujah listen listen i was told the story of a woman pastor jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet i will rise again how many of our parents 
were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life Are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges I may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root he says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying are you hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level 
in the name of Jesus. You are here and you are saying, man of God, it's as if you are just prophesying to me. You are right. It's you I'm speaking to. And I'm going to make an altar call one, maybe two, three minutes, wherever you are. Outside, I know there are lots of people. You are saying, man of God, can God forgive me? Yes, he can. Can God give me a new beginning? Absolutely. No one has made it in my family. You will be the first. If and only you receive him. He says, as many as believed in him, even to them that, I mean, as many as received him, even to them that believed in him, he gave them power to become. Power to become. You do not have the power, but you have the will. And you can choose. Right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time, or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let jesus christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight god bless you keep coming man of god you don't know what i've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to jesus run to jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister also, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing his strange deliverance. I'm seeing 
a strange deliverance bring the person one inside one outside i just want to speak to them please quickly we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visit us in a very strange way lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands just keep your hands lifted please bring them just keep your hands lifted keep your hands lifted God is touching people it's a foolish instruction but it's what the Lord is telling me just keep your hands lifted like fire it's coming on people inside and outside bring them out God is visiting visitors 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 doesn't mean other people are not being touched but particularly visitors Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit, I command every devil, strange spirits, tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. 
Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, Shakatabakata under the yoke of setbacks whether you are a visitor whether you've been here for a long time in the name of Jesus I command that spirit to leave you now I command that spirit to leave you now the power of God is touching people delay, delay, delay strength spirit I curse you by the God of heaven delaying destiny delaying achievement I curse that spirit I curse that spirit I curse that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit hello give hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is giving me a strange instruction please sisters lay your hands on your womb lay your hands on your stomach something remarkable is going to happen here right now there is a kind of deliverance God is doing I don't know what I'm even doing but Lord I pray right now this is not for everybody but I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three, release them now. One, two, three. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Johnson. Johnson. I'm hearing a name. Johnson. 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 We are still praying, please. Johnson. My God. I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is, God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit 
the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cast that witchcraft now i cast that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place i'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i cause that spirit the spirit of hardship i cause you now i cause you now i cause you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly i want to pray for you i'm seeing a lady who is as god is about to change her genotype now 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 a dramatic change of genotype from as to ss from as to aa by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god 
right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit hello adonai thy kingdom come I will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. I will be done. Elohim Adonai, I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people 
and as you shake them there will be a transference on every one usher I'm prophesying now that's why I say I don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles hallelujah we'll soon pray for the sick but please everyone lift your hands lift your hands I want to pray I'm seeing people here the anointing for business and entrepreneurship just keep your hands That's why, please keep your hands I want to pray for you don't say I'm not calling to a businessman that's none of your business just listen to what I'm saying I want to pray for you is a grace is a grace I believe maybe in the course of the service we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly truly upon your life lift your hands brothers and sisters there is a grace for the marketplace you don't go there through desire it's not that you are a, mon a money monger you just go but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you are a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that i'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace God is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is I release that grace now there is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now uncommon ability uncommon ability uncommon insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruits hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances, but it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration. Kai, this is going to land on people's head. I'm saying this thing. There are physical gifts you used to see in your life. Not gifts of the spirit. Not just gifts of the spirit. Gifts. Gifts, endowments. 
for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace the words you speak turns things around help me The chains are gone. God help me now. Hey, hey, You're the God of awesome wonder. I taste it of your power. hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up catch up by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny your life speak to your destiny oh, words 
the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two. Please if you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones. Please I permit you put on your phone and call them. Tell them to send it as a text message. Write it. We are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of God to fall on request. Don't assume if you have not written it, no problem. Settle down, think well and write. You are here, you are trusting God for healing. I understand there are a few sick people that they brought around. Please, we are going to do it this way. If your case is very sensitive, then you can bring them to the front here. But those outside, Please just walk to the, um, well, there are a lot more people outside, really. Well, for those who can come in, let's see. But for those who may not make it, you can walk to the front and then down there, I'm here, Pastor Jakes is here. Um, we'll just station ourselves one, one, and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast. Praise God. Thank God, Pastor Jakes is here. And Jimmy is here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hold on. So outside, you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there. For those who have come in, just allow them. Don't stop them. Let them come in. That does not mean everybody will stream in. Please. Are we together? If you're standing, just stand. Trust God. If they don't ask you what is wrong with you, don't worry. They just lay hands on you. Praise the Lord. Ejimi, please you help us. Ejimi will be outside here and Pastor Jakes will be down outside there. Praise the Lord. Benga. You go with Pastor Jakes. You will help Pastor Jakes outside. Um, Pastor Alpha, you will be outside. Just help them. And then, um, who, who is around again? Is Femi around? Okay, so you can just come and help me here. So let's do it that way. Very fast. Very, very fast. If there are more people, there are still promises here. Michael is here. So maybe you can add one. Okay, promise. Just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow hey, Jimmy, please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir hospital station here yeah. you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs I, has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't Hold on. Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ huh? the Lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what I'm asking you to do lift your leg lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come come try to walk gently come give me the stick look at me look at your stick come come Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Find a chair and just keep him, let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. you came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is still sick. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different 
from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange, strange. Hallelujah. God, god is giving two of them strange favor strange favor i see strange favor strange favor america god is giving you access i'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and god is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access muas god is giving strange favor strange favor strange favor hallelujah i don't know what i'm saying but this is a word for someone and the lord is saying why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year this is the word of the lord why make it next year this is a word for many people when i've destined it to be this year as i speak to you the word is for you the power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's a year of triumph. It's a year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. Shaka parados hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you 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 prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i command by the power of the holy ghost let her go now peace to your spirit every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah pastor jake is still playing outside okay we can just do it this is a listen there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss ah, there is i mean god is just doing certain things it's like something is really happening don't worry about what is happening impartations god see let me tell you right now if the anointing comes on you just know that is the answer to your prayer 
this is not a special once the anointing comes on you just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone please stretch your hands here and pray in the holy ghost please pastor jakes come what you mean please okay he's writing something just stretch your hands here and pray and pray in the holy ghost stretch your hands and pray in the holy ghost from the depth of your heart stretch your hands shakato pakata leketeketekete stretch your hands here and pray in the holy ghost no leave us pray in the holy ghost stretch your hands pray in the holy ghost 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 prophesy in the holy ghost shake it to go to to get up rakata kata bakata so poto so pekete tete miracle so god testimony so god signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders we prophesy it we prophesy it we prophesy it we prophesy it visit impossible situations i tell you god is moving i see a cloud i see a cloud over this prayer request that's what i see in the spirit god is moving upon it moving upon it moving upon it the spirit of god is moving over the prayer request visiting families releasing angels releasing angels visiting the request i'm seeing the cloud of god's presence visiting the prayer request savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever all for a salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus sing it one more time for god say Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please, say to me, still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is. I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. 
and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of Jesus I speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access I command that grace strange access strange access by the power of the Holy Ghost strange access gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and Pastor Jake's God is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence Lord I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are I bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are I prophesy to Tosin wherever she is and I speak to hope you are one so I prophesy as it happens to you I bring your wives into this experience in the name of Jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once I spotted Lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from Abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release I told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the Lord father in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over Lizzie and Lord Jesus I prophesy I prophesy according to the word that you are giving me I open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter Shabaka Toto Barekete a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of Jesus a new chapter listen I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears this prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be open now I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate I lay my hands upon you I command the gates to be open be open right now be open right now in the name of Jesus Christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with uh, yellow blue you come I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command ah, ah. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please 
visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory i speak it right now in the name of jesus let it be open 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 i unveil your glory 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 Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now, touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway miracles locate them now oh god people from benway benway strange grace strange grace i break witchcraft benway i'm seeing benway hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know or to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the, is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough benway 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state, miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to emo state by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River. Kalaba, something is happening right now. Cross river, cross river, cross river, cross river. Help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the ministry of signs and wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. 
he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life lift your hands you are rounding up you've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service i want you to believe it hallelujah by the grace of god the anointing flows through me to you and i know when the anointing is heaviest it's only because many of us are already used to some of these things and so you think when these things are happening you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations i want to pray for you please receive everything i pray for you every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now i command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady time run come lift your hands i'm still praying in the name of jesus listen whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus my dear look at me I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer and I saw you inside a cave you are just trying to push the door that's why I asked you to come out let me I don't know you do I know you where did you come from where where is that I don't know. Here in Zaria, I'm going to pray for you God is bringing a major breakthrough two things God is going to throw somebody out of your life I'm not a prophet of doom but it will happen he will reach three days Huh? throw Amen. completely so that you can move forward Amen. i hold your hands in the name of jesus every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now in the name of jesus christ you need to love jesus with all your heart right you are a nice person but your relationship with jesus you, you can get teachings after this but i want to prophesy on your life god is taking somebody not there though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life i prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen i lay my hands on you and i provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i want to pray for you i don't know where they are but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny. I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, in one month, 30 days, I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days, beginning from today, step into those results. Step into those results. Step into those results. Step into those results. Strange dimensions of results. Hallelujah. Whoever has despised you, whether to your knowing or not to your knowing, I pray, may God put them on the scene as he lifts you. May they watch your rising as God honors you. I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down. Prayer life down. Your praise and worship life down. Fasting down. Word life down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate fresh grace. Receive it fresh grace. Fresh fire. Outside, receive it fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Hallelujah. Wherever your prosperity is, I pray. May, listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation, looking for people and families, is, listen, it's like a graph. It rises, then sometimes it relaxes. I'm praying. Whoever calls your name, I'm prophesying this all, whether in the secret or the open, to invoke death upon your life, I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus, Shababa Satalakata, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection. Listen. I want to pray something that is very powerful in your life. Listen. When you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you, it's a cause. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The Bible says, defend you in the day of trouble. There are many of us, if for any reason things go wrong in your life, you are in trouble. There is nobody that can arise as a defense. But I'm prophesying to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors, I call them forth right now. In the name of Jesus, may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you. In this wicked, um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country, people say if you don't have anybody, and honestly speaking, somebody can get up and come and seize your land. You and your land and your paper, they will collect it because there is no defense. I'm prophesying again. Quarter to shame. May God raise a defense for you. 
and finally I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you many of us ha, many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oh that the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of god has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all name for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now take that mantle right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah wave your hands to jesus and praise him wave your hands to jesus and praise him. wave your hands to jesus and praise him wave your hands thank you jesus we bless you we lift our hands to the great I am, oh, was and was, and he is to come. We lift our hands to the great I am. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.